everybody welcome back to elder scrolls 5 skyrim dragonborn dlc last episode i tried to do a live stream uh because i had run out of time to be able to do a recording and i really didn't want to cancel so that turned out all right um other than a couple of audio hiccups to start off with um the stream went fairly well so if you guys enjoyed that, let me know. Um, I'll do them occasionally. I, I'm not going to do them every day, every week, uh, just because I don't want to have to um, compromise my Saturday mornings <laughs> to do that. So anyway, last week um, I realized that the ash spawn are fairly annoying. Every time I visit Raven Rock, they attack. So we're over here at Fort Frost Moth, and we're going to investigate what exactly is going on here. The quest for this is. Ah, the quest for this is Mar March of the Dead. Captain Velith was alarmed by the strange note I recovered from the ash spawn at Addis Farm, which is just outside of Raven Rock. The note mentions Fort Frostmoth, the ruins of an imperial fort located southeast of Ravenrock. According to him, the fort's been abandoned ever since the eruption of Red Mountain. He sent me to Fort Frostmoth to kill the author of the note, General Fox Curious, before the town falls prey to his threats. So, we are going to work on that. Um, it appears... I think there's more going on here than it seems because the general here accused uh, cap the captain and Raven Rock of attacking his fort, which they hadn't been doing. Um, so I think it might be a little bit of a miscommunication, but we'll find out. So the fort is right here. Um, we're coming to the dock. Oh yeah, and they have ash spawn outside. I did equip a couple of uh, fire resist um, pieces of enchantment to help out because these guys are a little bit tough. All right, I see two more on my map. It looks like a boat, a boat sink. Ah! <laughs> Let's get these guys. Uh, they're up above, I think. Yeah, and if you remember how quickly I died um, the last time I was attacked by the ash spawn, you can already see like how much better I'm doing now that I've leveled up and slightly. An invader has entered the fort. Prepare your and have uh, picked up a few amulets. Fort Frostmoth will never fall. Long live the Empire! Wow. <laughs> My, my companion here just keeps like throwing firebolts at these guys. I'm not sure if that's the best idea. All right. Okay, it looks like we've got all of them out here. Oh boy, I'm gonna be picking up a lot of ore, aren't I? <laughs> well, that's good, because I'm still working on leve leveling up my smithing. Now, I see there's a staircase going down here. 
Oh, it's collapsed. Mm. Circulate. Nightingales. Fact or fiction? Fact. If you work on the Thieves Guild quest line, it introduces you afterwards to the Nightingales, if I'm remembering that correctly. Alrighty, so I've gotten uh, all the ash spawn out here looted. Okay, this is clear. Oh, here we go. Ooh, gold ore. I don't really want that ash spawn uh, material for ravaged stamina. Although I don't know what else it does. It might do something I'll, I'll use. I will not use the ravaged stamina very often, anyway. Okay, down there is clear. Not really much else looted except for some gold ore from the one body we fought by, by the dock. Alright, so... Man, those guys sounded like regular people, <clears throat> you know? So, I need to go in here. But where do these go? It requires key. I do not have the key. This is open. It looked like there. this was like a workbench area at some point in the past. Okay, that's the area I checked before. <clears throat> I haven't checked over there. And it looks like I need to go inside to get above over there. All right. Checking uh, the walkways over here. Man, this ash is like sand. <laughs> By how how it grow how it just is everywhere. <laughs> Okay, it looks like we can go in. Oops. Well, I should probably sneak in, I guess. Potion of Plentiful Health and Minor Magica. Oh. Fus Roda! Yeah, these guys are not as hard as when I first got here. I'm actually really surprised at how easy I'm how how I'm having such an easy time. It makes me think I should go back down into uh go back down into the temple where I kept dying um at when I first came to this island. I picked up a quest from a uh a priest, I think, and um, to go down into the temple that were being hounded by ash spawn, and I just couldn't do it. It was too difficult. I kept dying. But now, yeah, I should definitely do that. Next time I'm over in Ravenrock, I'll try to remember to uh, finish that quest. Nothing else over here. Okay, 
so we came from oh we're still we're still in this section okay this leads down or we could go up Well, it looks like we actually need to go down to get to where we're going. So let's go up. This probably um, is a dead end. It probably takes us to the top of the tower. Yeah, I think this area is clear. Potion of Minor Healing and Minor Magicka. Some more skeletons that I cannot loot. Ooh, wheat. I'll take that. Use that to craft some rec uh, some health potions. Ooh, uh, some air da uh, some daedric arrows. Some daedric arrows. Instead of dwarven arrows, are those better? See, these are what I usually pick up. Or no, I'm thinking of bolts, dwarven bolts. What are Daedric? Damage 24. Better than dwarven. Better than the bolts. Oh, that's good to know. Why do they have Daedric arrows, I wonder? Oh, there's a guy up here. Um, I thought we had gotten all of them. Did you see? Oh, uh, well, he just... <laughs> you ruined the surprise. Who's <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I guess we'll have to worry about that guy later. Oh, are you going to go take care of him? <laughs> All right. Go for it. I think I'll just let him do that. <laughs> yep, he, there he is. <laughs> uh, you know what? Let me use some magic. We have, oh, yeah, I have ice spike. Let's use that. Where'd he go? There he is. Ah. Ugh. 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 Yeah. Oh, I don't have enough magic. Oh well. <laughs> uh, we'll either take care of him later or we won't. <laughs> Oops. Okay. Just got some gold. And we looted this, right? Yes. Okay. Let's head back down and head down deeper into the fort. Okay. We've looted all this area behind us. Aha! Who's Roda? Since I've had a little bit of an issue trying to get health potions since we've been here uh, on the island, or at least I've been running through a lot of them. Uh, I'm trying to level up my restoration a little bit. Yeah, this totally looks like a secret. <laughs> Let's uh, see what's back here. Despite the foul beings that infest this place, I'm certain we'll find plenty of wealth to make it worth our time. Jumping flame spider. Really? Flame jumping flame spider. Oh! Yeah. 
Oh my goodness, yes, they live up to their name. <laughs> Did he die? Did he like jump and die? <laughs> I've got to say, though, that is pretty cool. There is something else there. I bet it's a gigantic spider. Oh, albino spider. Interesting. What is this? Oh, Re ruby geode. Um, so I, f I think I forgot to mention, um, I went looking for the ancient Nordic pickaxe that I got from the blacksmith in Raven Rock that is the only one that I know of right now that can mine the, um, the special ore down here that we found in the mine under Raven Rock. Uh, anyway, it's, it's gone. I'm not sure what happened to it. I tried to use console commands to get it to spawn, uh, for me, and I had issues with that. It wasn't working. And then I heard that you could buy it. You could buy one from the merchants down there. Um, like the one over at the Skull Village, but he apparently won't sell me anything <laughs> until I finish the uh, main quest because their leader died from... Oh, jeez, I thought I saw something. <laughs> uh, because you remember um, the Skull leader died when... Let, let me pull that up quick so I'm not totally just making stuff up okay so the blacksmith over in Blackreach won't actually sell us anything and I, I think it's because uh, the village leader Storn was he, he was killed remember uh, in the last part of the main quest by Hermanus Mora um, to assist us in gaining the knowledge that we need to kill Merrick. So I think we need to resolve the main quest to be able to use him as, to buy buy things from him as a blacksmith. Um, other than Storn in the Skull Village, I don't know where we could buy the pickaxe um, because I looked in Raven Rock with their blacksmith and he didn't have it. So I'm just gonna keep my eyes peeled. See if uh, I can find it or we'll just have to wait. Man, Hearthstone though and that other one is like new to this DLC also though. It's very cool looking. The Ruby Geode. I think that's new also. Wow, there is like all sorts of uh, stone to mine down here. I'll have to remember to come back here uh, after. Despite the foul bee that infest this place. I'm certain we'll find plenty of wealth to make it worth our time. Um, I'll have to make sure to come back here after, like, I think it's a month has gone by and the mine, the ore replenishes itself. I just, it, I don't know what you would use this uh, spider pod for. It doesn't look like you can use it for alchemy. And it's not worth very much. Hmm. Alright, let's head back up. Alrighty. Well, that was an uh, interesting area to explore. Where does this go? Outside? Uh, I bet that goes outside. I bet that's that door we saw out there that needed a key. Mushrooms. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, I see a big old chest back there. <laughs> Let's try this. I'll equip my pick at, uh, my lock picking here. Okay, let's give this a try. Ah, going through a lot of uh, lock picks. <laughs> Aha, I found it. It's over to the left a little bit. Just about there. There we go. Huh. Just had to use like what? 20 lockpicks? <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> All right. Ooh. Ebony War Axe does 34 damage, which is better than I'm using right now. Uh, I mean, I picked up that other weapon before that was like not a mace and I don't know I like using maces how much that's like 10 better isn't it 34 oh it's not that much better all right let's actually give this to you I'm What's running our next move I'm starting to if run out of help space us get moving quicker Oh, I think I forgot I had a hide shield of waning fire also. Okay. All oh. right. I'm ready to continue. Okay. I think we just... Where are we going? We need to head... Well, we need to go through this door, but I don't have a key for it. Requires key. Hmm. Oh. We can go down further? Yeah, this is new. Right? Yeah, this is new. Oh, yeah. Why are there so many coffins down here? Usually you don't see that in a fort. At least not here in Skyrim. Fussies? Oh, you will see me. Fuss! Rota! Okay, I'm surprised that didn't alert anybody else, but let's just uh, continue. Thank our luck there. Jeez, oh, keep seeing his flame at her knock and being like, oh my gosh, what is that? It's attacking us. Nope, he's, she, she's just flying around. <laughs> Malachite or yeah. Alrighty. Um. Oh, I can search the coffins. Oh. Well, let me do that real quick. A skull. Bloody, bloody rags. Nice. Man, I'm finding quite a few bloody rags in uh, these coffins. Hmm. I'm thinking they must have uh, died. Ooh. Despite the foul being vigorous the stamina. Place, I'm certain we'll find plenty of wealth to make it worth our time. Indeed. Okay, I think we've searched uh, pretty much all of these coffins, and I found a little bit, not a lot. 
I already searched over here. Let's continue. Uh, what? I this see this is not normal <laughs> for a fort, and it's a dead end. What? All right, let me loot all of these things. Ooh, look, open sword of immobilizing. Chance to paralyze the target for four seconds. Ooh. I I like the sounds of that. The sound of that. Hmm. And a potion of magic. Some gold. Yeah, there are a lot of things to loot down here. Anything in uh these coffins? Ooh, a garnet. Some more bloody rags in clothing. Ragged clothing. Oh. <laughs> oh man, it's hardly worth it for like a couple of coins. <laughs> Anything in the knapsack? Uh, circle it. Oh, the frost moth key. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Vigorous healing. The ransom of Zarek. I don't know if I've read that book before. I'll go through slowly if you'd like to read. Wow, it's a little long. <laughs> All right. And I'll drop it. I, I don't really need to carry, I don't really need to carry that. Yep. Uh, I'll take these ingredients or alchemy items and what's, Ill Dairy's journal. Day 32. <clears throat> it's been almost a month since unearthing the crypt at Fort Frostmoth, and I haven't seen a single spark of life in the general's remains. Crafting the heartstone to the subject is proving much more difficult than I originally anticipated. I've used almost every method I can think of, and still there's no sign of reanimation. At this rate, it could be years before I make any progress, which is time that I just can't afford right now. If my vengeance is to come to fruition, I need results. If not, I may need to resort to more drastic measures. I think we're about to figure out how these guys are here. <laughs> Day 47, it finally appears that I'm making some progress. After my latest experiment, General Karras' eyes briefly opened and he moved his arms. It lasted for less than a few moments, but it's the first sign of progress I've seen since I arrived here. A few of my assistants were insisting that I was imagining things, but I just missed them for their insolence. They won't be bothering anyone ever again. Oh, does that mean she killed them? <laughs> she dismissed them, but she means she killed them. <laughs> Day 55, General Carius awoke fully today. He bolted upright after my incantations and began staggering around like a blind man. He seemed to ignore my commands. In fact, hearing my voice seemed to increase his hostility. I was able to remove the heartstone before he became violent. A, this isn't a result that I expected. 
Even though he's able to be awakened, I feel as though the real work has just begun. Day 59. The general is still unable or unwilling to listen to my commands. He's acting increasingly paranoid and appears to have his own free will. He's convinced that I am a spy or the enemy, and I've had to restrain him to prevent him from outright attacking me. This is becoming intolerable. I'm beginning to wonder if someone with a heart stone can be commanded at all. If my experiments with General Carius fall, I may have to resort to self-experimentation, something I've been avoiding for a long time. Oh, is that... That's the end. Hmm. Well, I wonder who this person is. And, uh... Can I take this, actually? I want to take it. Um, and why they were trying, he, she was trying to, uh, bring, awaken the general. She said, he or she said that it was for vengeance. Um, I wonder what kind of vengeance. Why, why did they resort to reanimating a old imperial general's corpse. All right, we're making some progress. We are close. It's n aha. I see you. Let's assume he's not going to be hostile, although I am sure he will be. From the sounds of what he was like. Time to meet your boost, Rota! So, how did. Whoa! Lucky! Yep, that seems about right. <laughs> you know, Hearthstone looks very similar to uh, what they're using in Elder Scrolls Online right now for the uh, Greymore chapter to create the to awaken the stone husks. I wonder if that's like a uh, well it's called a heart stone and in that game it's like it looks cold. It's like bluish. Hmm. Huh. Interesting. Lead on. Let's see if I can maybe uh, poison my arrow and uh, get him, hit him a couple of times. Thirty-five points of poison damage sounds good to me. Easily no. Wow, that is like a one-hit strike. Oh my gosh. You know, I really don't care that it bugged out on me here because he just hit me once and I died, which is absolutely and totally OP. And not fair. Because I'm like almost a level 30. So come on. Seriously? <laughs> ah, enough. This ends now. It does end now. It ends with you dying. Because apparently you were reanimated and um, yeah. <laughs> Came back evil. I've failed. Did he say I've failed you? Who did you fail? Here we go. 50% uh, chance for each element of fire, frost, and shock to do 25 points of damage. Huh. That's a pretty powerful weapon, but it shouldn't have been able to kill me so quickly. Uh, 
Uh, here, let me give you this weapon. What's our next move? If it'll help us get moving quicker. Sure, sure. sure. Okay. Then, uh, no. I think I needed to loot this body down, or ash, <laughs> down here. Super. All right. What, does this room hide any, uh, mysteries, I wonder? Despite the foul being, that infest Ooh, this uh, place. Health potion. I'm certain we'll find plenty of wealth to make it worth our time. So I wonder if we'll find the body of the woman who animated him. Seems like we should. I mean, why did she do it? I'd like to know that. Potion of healing and magic. Um, death brand. A pirate's tale. All right, I'll scroll through slowly if you would like to read. We found quite a few skeletons around, but I haven't found uh, the author of that book. Nordic, ooh, that looks like a cool shield. Nordic shield of magic abatement increases magic resistant by 20%, 20 but it's heavy armor. That's too bad. I would like to use that shield, but I'm equipped into light armor. Let's look upstairs, or let's look uh, outside on top of the fort. Hi. <laughs> uh, nothing? Some armor? Hmm. Okay. Uh, nothing up here. Despite the foul beat. It looks like it's clear. We just need to head back. Huh. Are we supposed to assume that uh, the woman who animated the general was killed? Well, maybe we'll find out when uh, when we get back to um, Raven Rock and report to the general. Good news! We figured out what the... What news do you bring from Fort Frostmoth? I killed General Karras. I had my suspicions that he was undead. How else could he have survived for over 200 years? It's a shame. There are quite a few tales of General Karras' exploits, including the founding of Raven Rock. Oh. Well, he'll no longer send Ash Spawn to Raven Rock. Councillor Morvane told me to give this to you if you made it back in one piece. And you got rid of General Carius. Better than a soldier's pay, so you should be thankful. Ooh, nice. Good amount of money. Oh, uh, uh, do you did you need something from me? I'm sorry to bother you, but second councillor Rano asked me to come find you. He said it's quite urgent. Oh. Did he say what it was about? All he wanted me to do is track you down and send you to him. Look, this is important. Even more important than wiping out the ash spawn. What? Please, go speak to the second counselor as soon as possible. Ugh. What? Look at me. I'm a different person. And I have you to thank for it. Hmm. Um, so I guess we need to go and talk to this guy. For the served cold quest. 
but um, I'm going to have to end the, the uh, recording here. Um, thanks for joining me in this episode as we explored Fort Frostmoth and finally got rid of the ash spawn that kept attacking Ravenrock. <laughs> Such a relief. <laughs> Next episode, I will, I guess, go and talk to this guy. Um, probably get a few more things done. And until then, stay safe, stay healthy, and I will see you next time.